Good Friday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your latest edition of our weather blog called Weather Overtime at the top of your screen there, along with my uh, email address if you'd like to send me any questions or suggestions for what you would like to see on this blog. Coming up in just a little bit, a look into the weekend forecast, also a look at whether where the troops are. For those of you with friends, loved ones, or relatives with those stationed overseas and may not be making their way back home again for the holidays, we're going to be taking a much closer look at what the weather's doing overseas and how you can keep up to date with that as well. Here in the Mid-South, we've got some very chilly numbers. Red bar at the bottom of your screen, that's the forecast. Sunny skies today, northerly winds, winds coming right off of areas around Hudson Bay, so some very cold weather out there. And high temperatures today, mid to upper 30s, maybe a 40 degree reading or two here and there, but that's going to be about it. Into later on tonight, northerly winds continue, mostly clear skies, and that's going to allow the temperatures to bottom out into the 20s. So we're looking at some very chilly numbers into this evening. Maybe not quite as cold as this morning was, but definitely on the brisk side out there. So because of those temperatures out there, we're going to raise the cough temp decks to a hot cup of java for the rest of the day today and not seeing it really a good idea out there for the iced frothy coolness of something a little bit frozen considering what the temperatures are going to be like out there. But once again, this is tongue-in-cheek, your coffee, your business, and if you burn the roof of your mouth because you weren't paying attention, well, no, that's your own fault. What to expect over the next several hours? Temperatures rising pretty nicely into the lower 30s, but that's about it, and those winds are going to continue to be fairly breezy out there into the rest of the early morning hours, dying down a bit later on today. Plenty of sunshine, so open up those blinds and drapes and get some free solar heating going on. Chances of precipitation, goose eggs across the board today. Very nice conditions out across much of the area with plenty of clear skies. Outdoor activities though, you are going to have to bundle up because maximum temperatures today on the right hand side of your screen. Again, numbers will be looking to go only to the lower to mid 30s at best. So looking at less chances of anything out there in the way of lots of warm air across the mid-south. So not seeing too much of any other concerns for today in the way of rain, showers, or thunderstorms. Airport delays, nothing to report at Memphis International Airport. Sunny, winds out of the north, delays are minimal at this time and expected to remain that way. No problems being seen across much of the area uh, across the continental United States, so good news on that. If you'd like to check in with more information on what's going on here, go to fly.faa.gov and you can get more information about what's going on. Rest of the forecast, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to report here within the last 24 hours. That big one off the Solomon Islands yesterday, the 8.0 or so, that one, the waves of energy passed through the Mid-South as the Earth Earth's crust rang like a bell, and you can see more about what those helio hel hel recorders look like if you go to my social media websites, but thanking the USGS and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis for this data out there. Olive Branch, as we just showed you on Mayor Rob's webcam from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichards. If you'd like to know more about this, go to the Weather Underground page. The view from City Hall looking very nice there. Uh, a little bit fuzzy from Look Rock. You may have to focus that camera out there uh, for the National Park Service. Find your park at nps.gov. Almanac for the precipitation yesterday. Goose eggs across there. Picked up a decent amount of rainfall in the last week, so we are now ahead for the month, which is something we have not been for several months over the last several weeks. Three quarters of an inch surplus for the month for the year just over seven inches ahead so that's doing pretty well there after all that rain we got in february and march almanac for today 29 the low temperature yesterday 41 the high temperature on thursday for memphis normal is 36 and 53 so way below normal record high hasn't been broken since 2007 of 77 and we're going to be nowhere near that record low for today of two set back in 1917. rest of the forecast as we head into the rest of the day again do not not expect anything in the way of very warm conditions. 10 o'clock temperatures, upper 20s to lower 30s. Back in the mid to upper 30s, over portions of the rest of the Mid-South, but back to around, say, Dyersburg and northern portions of the viewing area, you're going to be lucky to be getting out of the 30s around the freezing mark or so. And we also have, again, a lot of that cold air continuing to work its way downwards across the entire Mid-South, and that's going to be keeping us very much on the cold side, that courtesy of Canada and Hudson Bay. So little, if anything, in the way of warmer temperatures. Peak heating time of the day, picking up the kids from school, pre-leaving for home, 
back in the mid to upper 30s, maybe close to 40 degrees. Heading out on the town tonight, doing anything in the way of holiday parties, catching a movie, going to dinner. Temperatures will start off in the lower 30s and then drop from there around News Channel 3 at 10, upper 20s to lower 30s there. And then heading into early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. May not be quite as cold as this morning, but it's going to be pretty frigid out there, mid to upper 20s to lower 30s. Mid to late morning, early afternoon Saturday, upper 30s to lower 40s, and sunny skies all the way on through. Saturday looking at numbers in the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, and staying in the 30s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10 on Saturday night. Rest of the forecast, mid 30s for today. Sunny, cold, maybe a few clouds here and there, but dry. Continue dry into Saturday. A few days ago, we saw a few showers in the forecast for late Saturday. Doesn't appear to be the case because most of the rainfall appears to be confined to late Sunday, especially afternoon, evening, and overnight into Monday, where we see even more chances of rainfall coming on through. Spotty showers, but just showers. Nothing wintry expected Tuesday into Wednesday, even though the temperatures will be getting colder. Drier air will be moving on through the area. And then back in the mid to upper 40s for highs next Friday into Saturday with another chance of showers on Saturday next but nothing huge no severe weather expected and nothing in the way of frozen precipitation for right now so again good news all the way around for anything going on outdoors in the Mid-South area we'll continue to monitor this and the forecast as always will change so keep it tuned to news for updates on what's going on there into the rest of the world temperatures by just after sunset in Iraq mid to upper 40s across much of the country a few 50s down toward Basra and again looking at mid to upper 40s around Baghdad with a few clouds but nothing major here temperatures rain degrees at Kuwait at the internet to San Bahrain uh, with just cloud cover out there going on Afghanistan to the 30s back over to the western part of the country around Herat 60s around Kandahar Kabul cloudy skies lower 40s and upper 40s around Faizabad back into the eastern parts of the country and back toward the demilitarized zone and into areas around close to the southern parts of South Korea, upper 20s to mid to upper 30s as we look into Saturday evening. And no snow or any major winter weather coming on through, but as of right now, we're looking at some pretty quiet and cold conditions there. If you'd like to see this weather information, go to the World Meteorological Organization, and they have tons of international weather that you can look up easily enough. We'll have that information posted on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram pages later on. These are my social media networks if you'd like to see them, and many more others besides this one, including a Pinterest account, which I'm trying to keep updated. If you have any suggestions on that, please follow along there. And if you would like to listen in to what the forecast is doing this morning, tune in to Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That'll be on until about 9 o'clock this morning, my radio forecast on there, and also my radio forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And whatever platform you've got for tablet, phone, two tin cans and a long string, maybe not, but we'll work on that. Uh, search WREG Weather and get our News Channel 3 weather app available at your particular app store. Rest of the weekend looks decently dry. Again, some showers possible by Saturday or by Sunday afternoon and also looking at the possibility of some showers into next Monday. But otherwise, most of the weekend looks dry, if not a little bit on the cool side. And at least we've got some sunshine today, so open up the blinds and the drapes and get some of that free solar heating going on. That'll help to reduce your utility bill by just a little bit. I'll have your complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 tonight with Tim and Jim for your forecast from News Channel 3 at 4 through News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's edition of Weather Overtime. And we'll keep you up to date throughout the rest of the weekend. So whatever you do, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest weather information.